Leave Insert Higher Level Maths 2024. This is the solution video to paper one, question four. So question four is our next calculus question. And we're asked in part A to differentiate the following from first principles with respect to x. So it's f of x is equal to x squared minus seven x minus 10. I always just like to um, check what the solution will be by differentiating it straight away. If you differentiate that, you get two x minus seven. You might just write that there, two x minus seven. You do need to use first principles though to get that. So let's go ahead and use first principles. So it's the f of x plus h, first of all. Uh, so that'd be x plus h squared minus seven times x plus h minus 10. Then we do minus the f of x, minus the f of x is equal to minus x squared plus seven x plus 10. Then we'll put these together to do f of x plus h minus the f of x. Some people do that, this all in one step, um, but I just like to split it up. So you get uh, f of x plus h squared minus x squared works out to be, um, well, if we do it all together, you'll get 2hx plus h squared minus 7h. And that's this bit minus this bit. Um, and then we actually need to put it over h. So put everything over h there like that. So that's the f of x plus h minus the f of x all over h. And then you'll have things simplifying out. Simplifying out. So h cancels with h. Uh, h cancels with h squared and h cancels with h, so you get 2x plus h minus 7. And then you take the limit of that, so the limit as h goes to 0 of the f of x plus h minus the f of x all over h is equal to 2x plus 0, so h is going to 0, minus 7 which is equal to 2x minus 7, which is what we were expecting to get from the start. So it's worth 10 marks. And this question that always comes up in class, if you don't have the left-hand side, which is this bit here written in, you only get seven marks. So no left-hand side is equal to seven out of 10. And that is coming directly from the marking scheme. So if you don't write in that and you do everything right, you're only getting seven out of 10. <clears throat> Part B then is this function, g of x is defined as g of x is equal to six x plus one over x to the four plus three, find the value of g prime of minus two. That's the derivative of g of x when x is equal to minus two. So it's quotient drill. So that is equal, gonna give us u is equal to uh, six x plus one. So du dx is equal to six and v is equal to x to the four plus three. So dv dx is equal to four x cubed. And then applying the quotient rule, so g prime of x is equal to uh, v du dx, so that's x to the four plus three times du dx, which is six, uh, minus u dv dx, so that's six x plus one times four x cubed, all over v squared, so that's x to the four my, uh, plus three squared. And then we can go ahead and just sub minus two straight into that and put it into your calculator. So g prime of minus two, you don't have to go working out any of that algebra, just sub in minus two for all of these and be very careful with your brackets and you should get the answer of minus 238 over 361. And that is worth 10 marks. Part C then, the final part to this is um, H, which applies uh, 
the real to the real is a continuous function. The graph of h of x has a local minimum at the point 0, 05. State whether the following statement is true or false. The value of h of x must be at least 5 for all real values of x. So the value of h of x must be at least 5 for all real values of x. It has a local minimum at the point 0, 05. But it's a local minimum. So this is a false statement. So false and if we can just draw a little graph to maybe show this. If we were to draw a little cubic uh, function where we have a local minimum at five, we can draw it in like this. So there's our local minimum at five. So local min at five, uh, that's y equal to five. We can see that this part of the graph here is less than 5. So that's all the justification you need. Okay, and that is worth uh, 10 marks as well. Okay, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.